Hello, this is Sonia from A Happy Space. Welcome back at my channel. Today, I want to do sort of a mixed media background to artwork in my Bible. And I've got these new printables from a beloved society, Beth from Illustrated Faith. And it is released today. So I'll link the details for you down below if you want to pick it up. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I love these teal colors, the ladies. And yes, another one with some word fetty and um, just words of encouragement with a girl and then she's got these two pages with all the beloved society girls i love the green and the yellows and yeah it's very very beautiful this color combination so i as you know i love using the beloved society girls so yeah as i said i'm going to grab my bible i'm going to think what mixed media backgrounds i'm going to use what i'm going to use exactly i haven't really decided yet and then we're going to put this together okay i've got my bible here and then i want to recreate sort of the color of that printable so i've got some blues and dark greens here so yeah i'm going to as i said create a background it took me a while to get to the color i want um at the end it wasn't exactly the same color i think in hindsight i should have put some yellow in it to make it a little bit more sort of teal but i wasn't thinking of that um i was thinking of going darker but it turned out nicely it all works together um it's not really an issue but i was just sort of made myself a challenge to see if i can get to get that beautiful green um, color but i must say i love this color also so i'm just using a flat brush to cover my whole page and as you can see i've put some washi tape in the corner of my bible not to get the paint on my bible i did at the end had one sort of splot on the other side but obviously maybe i would have had more if i didn't put that washi tape there so i'm going to go for my stencil draw just to see what background stencil i want to use um i was thinking of the hearts and the little arrows but i tend to always come back to that one stencil with this sort of graphic art marks circles and zigzags i just find that a nice printable or not printable um stencil and then i've just first decided i'm going to do a background stamping with this sort of grit background stamp i'm just using some versify ink some black ink and I actually was amazed to see how many impressions I got just from stamping it once. I probably stamped about five or six times. And um, yeah, I just love how it turns out. Obviously, you can't see it so well on the camera. But um, yeah, I love how it turns out. And then I'm going to use my stencil to create a background. I am journaling in 1 Chronicles 5 verse 20. As you know, I'm reading through the Bible at the moment. And Chronicles is one of those books that he's got these golden gems in it's got lots of genealogy and lists and things like that but then now and then you get these wonderful verses that is absolutely a gem and this one is to me also stood out because it although it is for the old testament i always say every old testament picture has a principle for us today to learn from and um they were talking about the tribe of um reuben and the gadites i think that's how you pronounce it and verse 20 it says they cried out to god in the battle and he granted their urgent plea because they trusted in him and that to me is such a beautiful verse i'll just quickly to, uh, tell you what i'm doing now on the on the camera i'm trying to recreate the same type of color there was a little rose um, in the girl's hair and i'm just creating some background splatters to create the same color just to pick that rose up and i'm very very happy i got sort of the same color and now i'm just going through some of my black and white printables and i'm going to do an acetate butterfly also there at the top and i love how it turns out but as i said when i looked at this verse and that's, that stood out for me is during the battle they have an urgent plea they cried out to the lord and he grant them what they wanted because they had they trusted him and um that is just to me so beautiful because when we go through our battles we need to cry out to the lord and we need to have our trust in him that he will answer us um, in whatever way he thinks it fits but that fit but that he hears our cries and that we can 
during our battles we can cry out to him we don't have to divert or go into ourselves or try to reach out to other things we can cry in our battle towards the lord and yeah as i said i just wanted to document that that really stood out for me it meant a lot to me at that moment of time so that's why i'm documented i mean this beloved society goal has probably has got nothing to do with it but we know as i said we bible journalists just do want to create something um we understand when we look at that verse um it's a reminder we just want to document it in whatever way we want to do it and i've got this also illustrated five art marks which i am just printed on vellum or tracing paper which i'm just securing with double-sided tape on there and then I've just showed you, I've got this um, new stamp set from Rosie Designs. I'm so happy there was a new few new designs that came into the shops. And as I said, their stamp sets are so, so reasonable. And I've got a little offer set stamp in it. And I'm so happy and I've put their trust in him. Now I'm just going through my tabbies to see if there is anyone I can use at the top. I've got, as I said, these drawers of all these tabbies and word fetties and flowers. And I always try to use that first before I print anything out. And I've decided to go for one of these black and white tabbies. Sorry, it's a bit out of camera. I've secured it with some black and white grit washi tape. And I've decided to use some of the leftover to create some sort of interest points there. So I hope you enjoyed this um, video. I loved making it. I will leave the details for the printables down below. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I'm leaving you with some close-up photos in a minute. And thanks very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.